Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today I'm gonna share a really elegant packaging idea using supplies from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com. Now today I'm talking about jewelry packaging and the best way to increase the value of your jewelry and what you can get for that at craft fairs is to improve the packaging. So what we're gonna do here is work with a craft paper box. We're gonna set aside the filling for a moment and we're gonna cut a piece of satin about, I would say a half to three quarters of an inch larger on all sides. Okay, I've already done that. Now what we're going to do is put some double-sided tape on the inside of our box and we're going to try to have it up as close to the edge as we can. So I'm going to tear off a piece here and just put that right in there right up to the edge as best I can and this tape is really good it's um really strong and works perfectly for uh, adhering paper and fabric and coarse things and smooth things it's just a wonderful wonderful product now what you want to do is set your fabric kind of on top and I like to actually press it in and that will kind of help me make sure I don't get it pulled too far one way or the other and then I am going to peel off the release paper on my tape, like so. I'm actually going to set something in here just to kind of wait to my fabric so I don't move it. And then I'm going to fold back the edge about a quarter of an inch to half of an inch maybe. Probably a quarter is sufficient. And just keeping that centered, I am going to press it into the adhesive. Okay, just like that. Now I'm going to turn my box, I'm just going to move my weight over here, my fancy weight, and I'm going to peel off the release paper on this section. And again, I am just going to fold it under and press it into the adhesive. You just got to watch these corners, sometimes the corners, uh, the fabric from the, from the corner wants to get in there and stick to the sides, so you just have to be careful of that, but as long as you kind of keep those um, seems even. You should be all set. You shouldn't end up with too much extra bulk. Now at this point I'm gonna stick the uh, fluff back in and then I'm gonna repeat the process because it's anchored a lot better now so I shouldn't have too much bulk but I'm gonna kind of be mindful of it because I don't want to have a big a big pucker on this side. So I'm just gonna pull that so you don't want too much extra fabric. I think at the most three quarters of an inch on each side. And as you get better at this technique, you could probably even go with less. Um, you will need more if you're not going to use the fiber fill in your boxes because you'll need something to, you'll, it'll need to be baggier so it can um, reach down to the bottom so it doesn't tear off the edges. But with the fluff, you can, um, you want to have a smaller seam allowance. You want less overage. And then this last one, we're simply going to pull off that remaining liner there, fold back the excess, and then just press it in. So then you could rest your beautiful, I don't know, pearl bracelet or pretty necklace and earring set and look how elegant that looks. Now I could put a lovely bracelet in here and doesn't it look so lovely and showcased that way? You put your lid on it. That's going to kind of hold it in place too because you have the fiber fill in there. It's going to keep it from shaking around too much. And then for a simple finishing treatment, I've got one of these ivory tassels and they're very inexpensive. They come to a pack of 12 and they would just be perfect for finishing off your gift in style. I'm just going to tie it in a simple bow just like you would on your sneakers. Okay, just pull it tight. And the thing I love about this is that it's just so simple and affordable and you could totally do this to your craft fair items and it would look so very lovely. Look at that. And I like to actually push the bow up and twirl it over to the side a little bit just so it's a little bit um, kind of more fancy looking. But I mean, what recipient wouldn't like this? And it's a great way to add a perceived higher value to the work that you want to sell. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You could also even set your um, items out on your craft fair table like that with the boxes kind of like that or nested inside themselves at a little angle. And it would be a great way to showcase your products. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, check out our sponsor, Paper Mart at www.papermart.com. Packaging for less.